This is a big Monday for UK sports. The men's basketball team tipped off in the season opener about half hour ago, and the reigning women's SEC champion just started playing. UK head coach Kyra Elsey is an Oldham County native who has spent more than a decade building the women's program into a powerhouse. For eight seasons, she served as assistant coach. Then in 2020, she became head coach. Since then, Elsey has led the Cats to an SEC tournament title. But amid the height of her success, there is a very private pain. I just couldn't get out of bed. I could not sleep. Um, I could not eat. Uh, it was a tough time that feels like you have failed. My body has failed. I have failed. For the first time, exclusively here on LEX 18, Coach Elsie is ready to share her emotional story with the public. We are built for this moment. All about empowering other women. And our ability to bounce back. We got knocked down, we got back up and swung. In 2020, Kyra Elsie herself appeared to be on top of the world. November, I became the head coach at the University of Kentucky, so I was flying high. Behind the sparkling smile. It's a lonely feeling. Infectious energy. The isolation. Um, the depression, the anxiety. Lies a secret. For me and my husband, we've had six miscarriages. Um, and even saying that out loud makes me very emotional. The first in 2013. We took pictures, we had the sticks, it said pregnant, we were excited, telling all of our friends and family, and then a miscarriage, devastation. In 2014. I was actually coaching a game at Tennessee I stood up on the bench and I had a sharp pain and I was like, this is not good. We had a miscarriage there at halftime, so it always sticks in my mind. The third happened before Elsie even knew she was pregnant. And then the fourth one, that one was the one that probably just broke me. We went in to hear the heartbeat to get the ultrasound and there was no heartbeat and I literally in that moment thought I was going to die. And I think my husband, I was probably on a suicide watch at that moment. I just couldn't get out of bed. I could not sleep. It was Elsie's husband, Dexter, who turned their focus to adoption. Through that journey, I think it gave me something to focus on. I think it gave me hope. Um, I think it gave me life again, a reason to live. Then on June 13th, 2016, when they brought him out and put him in my arms, I was sobbing and I was like, I'm, I'm a mom. Jackson saved me. Jackson saved me. Elsie and her husband stopped the in vitro treatments. I said, I'm done. I don't care about having any more babies. That's far from the end of her story. In 2020, Elsie became UK's head coach in November. After that, she reasoned stress was why she'd been feeling under the weather. She got a big surprise. It pops up pregnant right away. I was like, oh my gosh. No in vitro, no medicine, nothing. And I was like, you have to be kidding me. Then in her office at the craft center, as the cats were practicing for Indiana, Elsie says what she thought was a miracle became another heartbreak. Miscarriage number five. I stand up and a pain hit me so hard that I fell to the ground. I look down, I am covered in blood. Elsie was off the sidelines for a few weeks. The BBN knew only that she was sick. And I remember laying in bed, literally sobbing the whole time. Elsie clung to what she knew best. She went back to her team. Probably if it wasn't for Jackson, a reason to get out of that bed and a team that was counting on me to get up and coach them, I probably would have checked myself into a mental institution. That one was tough. UK fans saw a dedicated, inspiring leader. If your three's open, take it. If not, you can drop. We celebrated with her when the Cats won the SEC tournament for the first time. Fairy tale dreams come true. I'm like, yes, we. this is what life is all about. This is what you do it for. Very few people knew about the loss she carried in her heart. And the thing about miscarriage, 
nobody can grieve with you. So it's not like I had a physical baby that I could show someone. It's hard for people to grieve with you. It's kind of like, didn't happen. It did happen again, miscarriage number six, right after the NCAA tournament. And this time was different. To see, I, I literally was looking. I could see a leg, I could see all, I could see. Really? And I was like, this is an evil joke. Broken again, but in recent days. I have really prayed about it for a long time. Kyra Elsie, coach, mother, woman decided to share her story. If I can help just one woman, then I have walked in God's purpose. So I had lost a baby in 2017. Jill Embry and Kyra Elsie had been acquaintances for a couple of years when Jill's baby passed. Elsie reached out. Talking with someone that's been through a similar situation, um, their words and their experience like helps you just a little bit more. Even though our experiences were totally different, um, we're still grieving the same way. I feel like it's a secret society that no one talks about. No one wants to be in it, but no one talks about. Now, friends who lean on each other on this day, releasing balloons in remembrance. Watching her on the court, you wouldn't know that Elsie still struggles, the grief coming in waves. When asked if she and her husband will try again. Can I emotionally handle what comes with it? And honestly, that's a question I don't know. I don't know. Living with pain, but embracing life. If God never blesses me with another one, and it's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. But Jackson is more than what I ever prayed for. Even though we don't talk about it much, one in five women will suffer at least one miscarriage. Coach Elsie hopes that will change and more will talk. A final note, I'd like to personally thank Elsie and UK for helping us with this story and specifically her for opening up to me about this journey.